Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. Having the part of fortune in Scorpio or the eighth house, I share this with you guys. I have my part of fortune in Scorpio energy. It took me a very long time to embrace this side of myself. So if this is you, like, yes, embracing the Scorpionic energy, the occult energy, the things that we talk about behind closed doors, our ability to transform ourselves. And then after transforming ourselves, we transform other people by sharing our story and being an inspiration. And if they resonate, that resonance proves that there is truth in what it is that they are hearing, perceiving, or experiencing. And they can look in, look into themselves and transform their life. So yeah, me having part of fortune in Scorpio energy helps me to basically experience a lot of rewards and opportunities when it comes to transformation. And yes, rewards, I feel like I am constantly being rewarded because I'm constantly trying to transform myself. And it is not that I look at myself as I am broken and I need to be fixed or I am a problem or anything like that. It is just that I personally believe that our pain is a bookmark that holds the space for our transformation. Like I also say, discomfort is a signal for a change. You know, like my butt hurts when I sit in certain positions. So I shift myself after sitting for so long, like that discomfort is saying, hey, shift now. You're applying too much pressure to certain area of your life or whatnot. Where, you know, for me in my life, it's like certain things will cause me discomfort and I want to get to the bottom of why I'm experiencing that discomfort. Like I'm a Scorpio sun with a Scorpio stellium and I don't like to feel powerless. You know, Scorpio energy likes to feel in control of itself and its surroundings. So whenever something causes me to feel powerless, I don't like the idea of sweeping it under the rug and acting like it's not there. I like to tackle it head on and get to the bottom of it so that it doesn't hold anything over. Like, I don't like the idea of anything holding power over me. I don't like the idea of anything hanging over my head. So whenever I notice certain things within myself, and a lot of the times I notice certain things within myself through my interactions with others, like maybe someone might say something and the way how I react or respond to it is a way that just like the way I respond to it bring gets my attention. Like that'll show me that, okay, I need to do some work, you know? So with part of fortune and Scorpio, yes, you feeling the need to be that Phoenix energy, you know, instead of being the Scorpio that crawls around in dark, low places, it's like, you know what it's like to be that energy. It's like being the caterpillar that crawls. It's like you embrace that side of yourself and that side of yourself makes you relatable because you know what it's like to, you know, be within that kind of frequency. And then you evolve to the butterfly. You transform. You're constantly transforming, not because you think you're broken, but because you are creating comfort for yourself. You know, you're releasing pressure. So from your transformation, you constantly want to be that phoenix. You always want to rise above. You always want to rise from the ashes. You want to be that butterfly. Butterflies are known for flying major distance, like from Canada to New Mexico, back and forth, making a trip that they've never made before. One that their ancestors made, but they've never made it to know how to get from here, thousands of miles from here and land here on this exact branch where their ancestors last were because they have this inner compass within them that's guiding them. So when we embrace and lean into that part of ourselves, that divine guidance that is within us, a lot of re we will be rewarded for that because it's like we're not just seeing through our 
eyes you know we're seeing through our true eye our third eye like for me personally like in the past i would smoke weed occasionally and i stopped because it stopped me from remembering my dreams you know to each his own i'm not telling you to do anything or don't do any do anything but i stopped because it stopped me from seeing my dreams because a lot of the times certain things that i would overlook in my awakening life maybe because of my projection you know, I will go to sleep and while I'm dreaming, I will see the reality of something, something that I can't deny. So to me, it's like my real vision is my third eye vision, my premonition, because, you know, things, someone could be smiling in your face, but you can feel their energy that their smile doesn't match with what they're saying. You know, the energy that's coming out of them doesn't match with their outer exterior. Some outer exterior. Someone could be dressed up beautifully in certain colors that naturally gives you a certain warm feeling because colors carry energy. You know, we could present ourselves in a way that makes us seem warm and loving, but that energy never lies. So when you lean into this side of yourself, you will experience luck opportunity you will be rewarded scorpio energy eighth house energy has to do with other people's money so this is the banking system loans things like that so you might understand finances well or understand business and learn how to make other people's money work for you where you're able to flip houses or you know borrow and invest that and make something out of that and give it back like i'm not telling you to do that but you will be rewarded when it comes to you know getting loans you will be able to get loans whether they're personal loans from the people in your life or they're loans from the banking system those is those can come to you easily whenever you want that you know scorpio energy is occult energy so that's anything that's happening behind closed doors and that sex that is tarot numerology astrology that is rituals and that what is it called Domin i can't think of the word right now but basically magic you know magic spells different things like that you will be rewarded when you lean into things like that. And then and keep in mind, like in my Saturn video, I talk about karma. Because say, for example, you have Saturn in Scorpio. Saturn in Scorpio may cause you to feel guilty when it comes to sex because you were raised religious. So because of that, you're guilty when it comes to sex or you're guilty when it comes to tarot and anything that goes against religion. So because of your guilt, you create this punishment for yourself that you believe that you deserve. So you project into your outer reality and you projecting into your outer reality basically makes this energy work against you. So it's super important for you to become aware of your power your power as far as wherever you place your uh, your attention, the energy will grow there. So the attention that you're placing towards a thing needs to be positive. It needs to be pros prosperous. It needs to be joyous so that you will grow fruit that is prosperous, you know, and vibrant and energetic and and joyful. It's like planting a lemon seed and expecting a mango tree. So it's super important for you to become aware of your energy so that you can utilize this energy properly and experience the rewards that comes to leaning into the scorpionic energy. So like I mentioned, you know, accounting work, loan, loans, occult, metaphysics, the unknown, witchcraft, things like that, therapist work, transformation, like incorporating that into other aspects of your life, you will be rewarded when it comes to it. Like myself, um, my entire life, I was a hairstylist, but I wasn't just a hairstylist. I felt like it was my job to transform people. So I didn't only just transform them when it comes to their look, you know, we would have conversations and the conversations were transformational. And the way that I know that is because like a story that you probably heard if you keep up with my videos is the client that gave me $500 for a graduation gift who really wanted to give me a thousand, but I didn't tell her that it was my graduation and her mortgage was due. So she ended up giving me 500 instead. 
And as time go by and I look back on uh, situations like that and other kind things that clients have done, you know, it's because basically they felt like what I was doing was powerful. It wasn't just their hair. I was touching their soul. But at the time, I didn't realize my worth and what I was doing. So I didn't understand their response to me, you know, but now I understand it. So yes, regardless of what area that you work in, you have the ability to transform lives. And when you transform lives, you will experience rewards for this. If you are still here with me, please drop me a red heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.